How polarizing is Donald Trump? When you think of politically divisive presidents, Richard Nixon may come to mind. Or maybe George W. Bush or Barack Obama. But no president in the modern polling era, dating back to the 1950s, has had a larger partisan gap in his job approval ratings than Donald Trump. The approval gap is one measure of how politically divided Americans are, but it's not the only one. And the public's growing partisan polarization was evident long before Trump took office. Flash back to the mid-1990s when Bill Clinton was president. Republicans and Democrats disagreed over many things, including health care and foreign policy. But on average, opinion differences between Republicans and Democrats were no larger than differences between men and women, blacks and whites, or those of other groups. Today, the partisan gap dwarfs any of these other measures, and it's more than doubled since 1994. Look at the trajectory of attitudes on just a single issue, immigration. Republicans and Democrats used to feel similarly about the impact of immigrants. The dominant view in both parties was that immigrants did more to burden than strengthen the country. But today, partisans are far apart. The vast majority of Democrats say immigrants do more to strengthen the country, while Republicans remain skeptical about the contributions immigrants make to the U.S. Partisan polarization encompasses more than just disagreements over policies and political values. Think for a minute. What type of community would you prefer to live in? Republicans express a strong preference for big houses and widely spaced, drivable communities. Democrats, for the most part, say they want a smaller house, closer to amenities such as schools, stores, and restaurants. Differences between Republicans and Democrats now extend to issues which you may not expect to be all that partisan, like views of the national economy. Throughout the 1990s, there wasn't much difference in how Republicans and Democrats rated economic conditions. But since the early 2000s, and especially today, the economy is viewed through a partisan lens. We should keep this history in mind when thinking about Trump's presidency, since we've been polarized for a while. But Trump may have distilled our differences even further. While debates over issues from taxes to immigration continue, one of the most powerful expressions of the nation's deep political divisions today is the public's opinion of one man, Donald Trump.